Hello everyone, my name is Nurul Aisha Binti Zawawi. Today we will learn Chapter 3 in Life Cycle Assessment which title Life Cycle Inventory Analysis. The subtopic for Chapter 3, 3.1 Basics, 3.2 Energy Analysis, 3.3 Allocation, 3.4 Procurement, Origin and Quality of Data, 3.5 Data Aggregation Units, 3.6 Presentation of Inventory Results, 3.7 Illustrate of the Inventory Phase by an Example. The topic will be covered in this video as 3.7 Illustration of the Inventory Phase by an Example, Part A. The subtopic in this video consists of differentiated description of the examined product systems, analysis of production, recovery technologies and other relevant processes of the production system, and lastly elaboration of a differentiated system flowchart with reference flows. Differentiated Description of the Examined Product Systems There are some questions need to be examined. First, which materials and which quantities related to the functional unit foo, are to be considered in the product system? Second, which data are available concerning mass flows with regard to disposal or recycling and waste treatment after use of the product? Third, which transportations have to be considered? Materials in product system, beverage carton, overall proportion of only approximately 0.5%, the cutoff criterion is effective for this material flow. PET bottle, the bottles consist of polyethylene tariff phthalate, PET, single-use bottle and PA only. Mass flows of the product after use phase. When we put into circulation, it means 100%. Then it will be divided into two sections which are 72.5% for collection and 27.5% for litter bin. From collection, 72.5% bring down splitting into 90% and 10% among sorting. 65.25% goes for material recovery, fibers, and 3.625% for both cement plan and waste incineration, MSWI. Back to litter bin, it also provide 27.5% to waste incineration, MSWI. Handling of sorting residues and mixed plastics fraction. Put into circulation, 100%. It divided into two sections, 80% for collection and 20% for litter bin and fully 20% for waste incineration, MSWI. From the collection, it will go down to sorting and broken down into four sections, namely 46.4% for resorting, 21.6% for resorting of mixed plastics fraction and the remaining 12% for cement plant and waste incineration, MSWI, respectively. From the resorting section, it will be broken down into two parts. The first part is 97%, 45%, for material recovery, pet flakes, while the remaining 3%, 1.4%, for resorting of mixed plastics fraction. Resorting of mixed plastics fraction is divided into three parts, namely, 15%, 3.45%, for gasification to methanol, 15%, 3.45%, for blast furnace and 70%, 16.1%, for cement plant. For transport packaging, recovery is based on LDPE foil, 90% material recovery and 10% thermal recovery, municipal solid waste incineration, MSWI. Corrugated cardboard, 95% material recovery and 5% thermal recovery, municipal waste incineration plant, MWIP. Analysis of production, recovery technologies and other relevant processes of the production system. Production procedures of the materials consists of 
raw carton, aluminium foil, low-density polyethylene, LDPE, high-density polyethylene, HDPE, polypropylene, polyamide, nylon 66, PET. Production by materials. First, composite cardboard production. The main component of the beverage carton composite is the raw carton. It is sealed by a layer of LDPE on the outside and inside. Second, PET bottles production. The production of PET bottles usually takes place in two stages, that is, first so-called preforms are manufactured out of dried PET granulates and these in a second step are converted into bottles. Third, corrugated cardboard and corrugated cardboard tray production. The life cycle assessment data records of the FEFCO. Published in the year 2003 for the production of corrugated base paper and corrugated cardboard packaging were used. Fourth, beverage filling. Similar processes can be assigned to the filling of beverage cartons and PET single-use bottles. Distribution, beverage distribution. Collecting and deriving of more up-to-date and representative data for beverage distribution requires a much higher effort. First, it require average transportation distance is therefore approximately 350 kilometers. Second, motor vehicle types, semi-trailer 40T and 28 to 32T, truck with trailer 40T, truck up to 23T, truck up to 16.5T, delivery van. Collection and sorting of used packaging. For collection, the unit process is direct and indirect emissions are calculated. That is, the upstream processes of fuel production are included. Calculated consumption and emissions always refer to the weight of the waste. For sorting plant, the databases for sorting plant is based on Dual System Deutschland DSD, researches. Besides, General prerequisites concerning the type of sorting plant are distinguished if known, example as manual sorting, semi-automatic sorting, etc. Recovery technologies, recycling. Recycling of used beverage cartons. Composite material is then processed in two German and one Finnish plants. Recycling of pet bottles. By processing PET flakes are retrieved as products. At present the recovery plants for PET bottles in Europe differ by age and procedure details, yet most plants exhibit the same process sequences. Recycling of transport packagings. Material recovery. PE granulate. Used PE transportation packaging is cleaned and shred, milled afterwards. The PE granulate is reused in plastics industry again and replaces new PE granulates. Material recovery. Corrugated cardboard. Used corrugated cardboard transportation packaging is sorted and reused in the production of waste paper based corrugated base paper. Transportation by truck. No information on an average distribution distance is available for the regarded filling materials. All factors consider appropriate vehicle mix and the proportion of accountable driven distance. Electricity supply. The balancing of electricity supply, electricity mix, power plant and electricity distribution, by LCA is not only relevant concerning the use of resources but also for the calculation of emissions into the air. Elaboration of a differentiated system flowchart with reference flows. The system flowchart can be provided based on a thorough analysis of the product system and the structuring of the unit processes identified. For the calculation of the life cycle inventory, LCI, the system flowchart must be refined to an extent as to illustrate all considered unit processes and their interdependencies. Reference Now, let's go to the quiz session. What is the component for materials product system? A. Beverage carton and PET bottles. B. Beverage carton and PE granulate.
The answer is A. Beverage carton and PET bottles. Waste incineration and cement plant is the last stage for handling of sorting residues and mixed plastics fraction. True or false. The answer is true. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and watch our next video.